Welcome back you two pipe smokers. Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today's video is entitled The Correct Way to Clench and Smoke Your Pipe. Okay now I want you, everyone to pay attention. In today's demonstration I'm going to be using my Savinelli 320 author pipe. So please pay attention as to the correct way to clench your pipe and to smoke it. So the correct way is to take the pipe, put it on the right side of your face, and clench it in that position right there. See that right there? That's the correct way to smoke and clench your pipe. Now I'll demonstrate that one more time. Right side of your face, clench it at that angle, and that's the correct way to clench your pipe. If you don't do it exactly like I showed you, you're not really a pipe smoker. So for you new pipe smokers, this is the way that you have to smoke your pipe in order to be considered a pipe smoker. Poppycock, absolute bunk. Believe it or not, two years ago, I was told that by a pipe smoker. If you don't smoke your pipe in the same fashion that I'm smoking it, uh, you're not really a pipe smoker. Okay, so I listened to what the heck guy had to say, and I moved on. And I've got to thinking about it, I said, now, where, where does this guy get off, you know? I mean, he doesn't know me as a person. So let's run down a couple of factors that tie into you clenching your pipe. And smoking your pipe. One of the first things that you need to determine is the size and the weight of the pipe. Let me give you an example. This is my Savinelli 320 author and this is a Savinelli 122. Now this pipe is a lot lighter than my 320. So when I clench it, I clench it with no problem. I can't even feel the weight, even with tobacco. I can't feel the weight. It's perfect. It's nice and it's perfect for clenching. It's perfect for clenching, let's say, because it's very light. This one, on the other hand, is a heavy pipe. It's got some weight to it. I can clench it for a while, but something that I've noticed is that after a while of clenching it, my teeth start to hurt. So for this pipe, I mainly hold it in my hand. Like that. The reason why I do that is because after a while it hurts my teeth. My teeth start to, you know, hurt, and it hurts for a while. The next day it's fine, but I don't know. I just don't like the way it hurts like that. Also, you need to look at the length of the pipe. If you have a pipe like this one, it's relatively short, and it's very light. It's a lot easier to clench that, this pipe than it would be for a big, huge church warden. I'm sorry, but I cannot clench church wardens. It feels like I've got a big trunk or something, you know, going like this. So church wardens I hold on to. Now, if they're shorter church wardens, like this one, this one's not quite, it's a, it is a longer pipe, but I wouldn't, it, and then, I don't know, maybe a, a, a half church warden. But this one, I can clench because it's so light. So that one I don't have a problem with. But if it's way out here, I, I can't do it. It just, you know, it feels like I'm going to turn and bash something in the, in, you know, in the side of the head or whatever. Uh, so those are two factors that you need to look into or look at when you get ready to clench your pipe. The weight and the size. 
it's a small pipe, easy clinch. Long pipe, uh, not so easy. Light pipe, easy to clinch. Heavy pipe, uh, not so easy. So look at those things before you start to uh, decide whether it's for you to clinch that particular pipe. Another thing that you need to look at is the health of your mouth or your mouth in general. Each individual has a different shaped mouth. Uh, some people may not have teeth on the right side, may not have teeth on the left side. Some people may have false teeth and can't clench a pipe. Some people may have iron for teeth and they have no problem whatsoever clenching the heaviest pipe that's out there. Kudos to you, by the way, because I, I can't do it and uh, kudos for you to be able to do that. But that's another thing you need to look at. Your, your mouth structure, um, some people's teeth may be so even on right or left side that, that the pipe sits at an angle or, or droops way down. Or, or, you know, there may be different, different things that are going on with your mouth that, that prevent you from clenching in a certain position. Uh, so the two things that you need to kind of key on are the size and weight of the pipe and your mouth structure and the way the pipe fits between your teeth. Now, if you are out smoking somewhere and someone walks up to you and says, hey, you know you're smoking that wrong, don't get into an argument with them. Don't say, oh, you know, poppycock, you know, you're wrong. I can smoke my pipe any way you want. Politely listen to the individual and say, hmm, okay. I can see where you're, what you're saying. Yeah. Well, I'll give that a try. And then let the person just walk on and you smoke your pipe the way you want. Now, why is that? Why do you, why, why not take this a guy's advice? Why not say, hey, this guy, he's pretty smart. He's been smoking for 50 years. He knows what he's talking about. So I better smoke my pipe like that. Well, the thing about it is, what is the main reason that we smoke a pipe? The main reason is for relaxation and for, and for contemplative thought. So how do you get into that rhythm, into that zone, into that relaxed, relaxed frame of mind and that, and that contemplative frame of mind by relaxing? So, this guy says, hey, you need, you need, that, you, what, what you're doing smoking that pipe is wrong. This is the way you need to smoke your pipe. Smoke it like that. That's the way you smoke the pipe. Smoke it in between my front teeth upside down? Yep, that's the only way that you can smoke a pipe. For one thing, at least for me, that's an uncomfortable act. I can't do that. My jaw starts to hurt. Jaw muscles start to hurt. Look at the way it, see how it's kind of moving around. I'm trying to keep it there. It's so uncomfortable that you will not be relaxed. And you might as well be working. You might as well be outside mowing the grass. Because now you've turned a relaxed hobby into work. So for you new pipe smokers, it is imperative that you understand that it does not matter how you smoke your pipe as long as you're relaxed. If you want to smoke it like I just showed like this, if that's relaxing to you, more power to you. For me, it's either holding it or on the right side of my face. That's the most comfortable for me. That way you're able to relax and let the worries of the day just kind of melt away. If you're working at trying to hold the pipe in your mouth, like I said, you might as well be out cutting the grass. 
because you're working far too hard at trying to relax. And another thing that you need to look at is the health and the shape and the, uh, the makeup of your mouth. Uh, like I said, you may not have teeth on one side. Uh, you may have false teeth. Uh, you may have sensitive teeth. Uh, you decide for yourself and which configuration you can smoke your pipe and relax. That's the bottom line. So again, if anyone says, hey, you're doing that wrong, just be kind to them. Say, okay, thank you for the tip. I'll, I'll look into that. And then you continue to smoke the pipe the way that's the most comfortable for you. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.